Being blackballed in the underground is a very huge thing in the underground. If they hear a bad statement about you or an allegation, no matter what it is, the fans, the people, whoever you want to call it, these niggas will believe anything that was said. That's why if you're a rapper, you really do have to make sure you're cautious of what you're saying on the internet. It doesn't matter if you were 16 when you said it. It doesn't matter what age you were. You just have to be careful. It could be the smallest shit ever, but these niggas on the internet are soft. A lot of these niggas are straight bitches. These niggas can't take jokes. These niggas don't care who you Anything are. Anything that can bring your name down, these niggas is quick to take your ass off the map. It doesn't matter if your music is good. It doesn't matter if your music is ass. The niggas in the underground will lie on your name and bump your music the next day. That's just how the underground is, man. But there's one guy in particular that I want to talk about today that went through this same situation and the story is crazy. Everybody kick their feet up, grab your cups, and let's get into this shit. Lifeless Garments, aka Ventley. You niggas probably didn't heard his name before. That's one thing I'm going to say about that nigga. Garments is tough, man. This might sound crazy, but I never heard a bad song from this nigga. A lot of niggas compare him to Cardi and I just really don't see that. He probably got some inspiration from the guy, but I don't think he sounds like the nigga. Songs like Devil May Cry and That's Cool, these are great it comes to them fucking ad-libs, this nigga is one of those ones. And this nigga doesn't just stick with one flow. This nigga got a whole package of flow. I guarantee you, if you go through his whole catalog, you're gonna find at least five songs that you like. I already know what you finna say. Dude, we get it, nigga. He make good music. That's why I'm gonna talk about three things that are not only damaging his career, but is blackballing him from the underground. First part we're gonna talk about, the allegations around Garment's name. It's very sad to say this, but even if you haven't heard this nigga Garment's music, you have definitely heard about the allegations. Throughout the Twitters, the Reddits, this nigga name is being torched everywhere. And before I show everything surrounding his name, I just want to make it clear. I'm not sure if any of this shit is true. There's no real proof of him doing anything to anybody. All I know is that I'm going to read this off to you guys. I just want to give y'all a warning. I'm really just saying this shit for the niggas that be bitching in them damn comments. So let's get into this shit. About two years ago, Lifeless Garment's name wasn't Lifeless Garment. His name was Vampley. And he was on a rise still. He was making good music, but people didn't really know too much about him. I remember during this time, Garment's was dropping 8 to 12 song albums. And he was slowly coming up. He was going live every night now and then the same shit that he do now but it was more low-key because nobody really knew too much about him he was making a name for himself and during this time i don't really think garments knew what the fuck he was doing because i didn't know anything about this shit until somebody showed me but this nigga garments would tweet a lot of personal things shit that you just don't want to hear because as a man we don't want to know what you're doing with your dick but apparently this nigga garments tweeted out that he had an age play fetish i don't know if i'm a dumbass but i didn't know age play was even a thing so apparently garments has this king for seeing grown-ups dress as children to me that is a little weird but if that's what he want to do with his thing, then I guess. But that's not the only shit on this nigga name. There's multiple screenshots out there of garments apparently DMing underage females. And I know what you're thinking. This nigga might be weird. Because I got younger sisters myself. And I'm going to tell you right now, that shit ain't cool. But something about these screenshots are kind of skeptical. But why does every screenshot of the conversations that he had with these girls look like somebody screenshotted the shit off a of damn LG? And during this time, I think he had multiple different accounts. So I don't really know what the fuck is real. So niggas that seen these screenshots were quick to jump the gun with garment and mind you these screenshots and tweets go back two to three years ago so it's really hard to believe this shit to this day i still play garment's music i'm just not one of those niggas that's gonna be in tune with his personal life if the nigga's weird he's weird then so what and if the shit that these niggas saying is real then we might never know some of you niggas be pushing it if you don't like him or the music then shut the fuck up and quit that bitch and shit because if you see niggas like this in real life you either report this shit and try to get this nigga sent to jail or you stay in your own fucking lane you don't go on twitter and instagram and try to expose the nigga we don't give a fuck but i can understand some of this shit because i got younger sisters myself i wouldn't want anything happening to them so it goes both ways but if you niggas are sitting on your ass and still trying to expose this nigga after three years go get a fucking job man because if niggas want to bump his music they gonna bump his music it be these dweeb ass nigga get your ass off that damn phone let's get to the second point i feel like garments responds to the hate a little too much the niggas on twitter really don't like garments you don't want to repost this nigga music because you're going to get a lot of comments there's either going to be a nigga hating or bringing up an allegation and sometimes garments just standing up for himself but it gets to a point where these scenarios go a little too far i remember one day he got on a huge argument with hyperpop daily and i think we could all agree with this shit hyperpop daily is one of the biggest trolls on the internet having this huge ego war wasn't worth it garments can make some good music but the shit surrounding his name is going to attract hate either way so if he just keep doing him and focus on his fan base that he got he's going to grow because the nigga get co-signs all the time but he got to take his focus off the hate so let me talk about this last point this happens with a lot of rappers but we're going to talk about the cardi comparison a lot of niggas don't know about this shit but garments name always had vamping it. there's pictures going all the way back to 2018 where this nigga always had a dark aesthetic but you know how the opium riders are anything that even look close to opium they're going to compare you to car you try anything different they gonna compare the car. you try to dye your hair different they gonna compare the car. you try to smoke a damn cigarette they gonna compare the car. you rap on any beat that got hard 808 they gonna compare the car. 
Nigga, if you even think about using a grungy voice, and everything that I just named, Garment does that in his own way. If you listen to him and you're not familiar with his music, you definitely gonna scratch your head and think that he's trying to be like Cardi. But I feel like he got a whole different flow, totally different sound, but it's in that same lane. If you're looking for that grunge type of music, you could definitely listen to him. But that's pretty much it. Make sure y'all niggas comment what anime y'all been watching. What y'all niggas going with? Bleach, One Piece, or Naruto? I ain't gonna lie, I just asked y'all a question I can't even ask myself. Cause Naruto that nigga, Luffy that nigga, Ichigo that nigga, uh, yeah. Make sure y'all niggas follow my IG. I love y'all so much. Peace. A lot of niggas say I sound like Cardi, and that's one of my main influences. But yeah. at the end of the day, I feel like I can rap better than him, and some of my flows are completely different from his.